good morning so it is what day is it Thursday it's Thursday um, it's Thursday today and I have a meeting this morning at 8 30 um, for data so I am trying to get together um, a last few little bits and pieces to make sure that I have everything that I need to have for my data meeting so my district has us do a uh, writing assessment um, with our students so I've been working on narrative writing so we've done like personal narratives fictional narratives so today they're going to get to choose from one of the two they're gonna have to plan it out write it make sure everything's edited which I, I'm really hoping that they do um, because sometimes they just want to just kind of fly through it and they want they don't want to take the time to actually make sure that they're doing it correctly so I'm gonna give them a little speech before they actually get started with it and then um, they're pretty much gonna just do that for the entire time slash read. So there's not much that they're gonna be doing today just because that's gonna take up so much of their time and I wanna make sure I give them as much time as possible. They have to do it in one sitting, um, so we'll see how it goes. This is just, I think, to get them ready for when they have to sit down and write for the PSSAs, so um, it is what it is, but yeah. So I am just working on this. This is kind of the one thing that I really wanna make sure that I get done before um, 8.30. 8.30 is my meeting. I have an hour, so I'm pretty good to go, to be honest. Um, but I need to take out a couple of bits and make sure I have like some of my assessments that I've done like, off the side. So that's what I was doing. So I had to create like a word to study like spreadsheet so I can always keep track of like where they are and which word study they're completing because a lot of them will go faster than some of the others um, and I let them do that because you don't need to be hanging on to work to those words if that's something that you're kind of just gonna fly by and you already got it so I let them just kind of go with it and uh, so everybody's kind of on different word sorts, but they're in the same general area. Okay, so see, this is for their word study. So I have all of the different word sorts that there's to complete for this year. And then as they complete it and they take their test, they graph how much of a percentage that they got right or how many they got right because there's 10. So they will graph it and then they'll write the number, you know, eight out of nine or eight out of 10, seven out of 10, so on and so forth so they'll write those numbers there they'll graph it so that they can see kind of how they're doing overall hey guys so it's the end of the day um my kids pretty much we just worked on their writing assessment all day today which was really nice because that actually got me caught up on some things okay so ow so i'm on my floor because i'm picking up some of my things but i just kind of want to chit chat with you guys i really don't really have i really don't really i really don't have um, a ton of things that I can really talk to you guys about. Oh my gosh, this book. Y'all, this book. Oh my word. Amazing, 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 amazing. That's all I can really say. And we've literally just done, I'm on, like, we're on page 30. Like, that's nothing. But my kids, like, you should see them. They are cracking me up. Like, they're standing up because some of them were just, like, so, like, they're walking around because they're so into it. Like, it's really, oh, they are so into it. They're like, what? No, don't. Like, and they're screaming not to stop reading it. It's just such a really, really, really good feeling. So, uh, I don't really have a lot to tell you guys about what we did today. Um, we are going to continue working, like, on our fairy tale unit. I did work with another teacher as far as, like, planning out some different things that, that they're going to be doing. I kind of came up with something, but it's going to get fixed and then I'm going to insert it with my fourth grade data binders um, unit that I have up in my store so um, look for the update that's going to be coming really soon so like I have this that I've created for their data binders which is summarizing fiction and it's some of the things that we've been kind of pinpointing but because the standards are spiraling and you're con you're constantly doing them what I've decided to do is really 
fix this to where it would say summarizing like realistic fiction, summarizing fairy tales, summarizing historical fiction. Because when you're going through and you're looking at the exposition, it's going to be different when you're looking at fairy tales. It's going to be different when you're looking at historical fiction because when you're looking at historical fiction, you know, that exposition plays a really important role into everything else that's happening. So um, <clears throat> the way we'll do it is it's going to have what it is that you're actually like reading at that time and then you can check it off as far as whether or not they haven't got it yet they're working on it they got it and when they did get it you're putting the mastery date on there but really and truly it's not even like summarizing when you're thinking about summarizing on the overall arching like standard you're not really truly summarizing until you're really able to summarize all of those different fiction books in all of the different genres that you know you'll be teaching in that grade so um, I'm going to fix this to make it different for that and then it's going to have I put plot and theme into mine at the very bottom but I think what I'm gonna do is just create a different one for plot a different one for theme the idea is to take the targets and then create some type of okay so here's this target these are the different things that you have to do in order to show that you've understood and mastered that target if that makes sense so that's something that I'm kind of working on off to the side and I don't know why I'm trying to stick that with me when it needs to go up there I don't want to take that home I'm taking home a bunch of stuff that I really don't need to be taking home and I'm tired of doing that how many of you do that? I do that a lot. Like I end up taking a whole bunch of stuff home and I'm like, I don't even need this. I am gonna say that we are working on conferences for the next couple of weeks. Um, so I have my first conference date is actually next Friday. <clears throat> so our first conference date is next Friday. So I'm working on filling out that form with my partner teacher and then um, I'm gonna be sending out some reminders and just a little form that says, you know, what is it that, you know, you think that your child's strengths are? What do you think their weaknesses are? Where would you like to see your child grow? What are some other concerns or something that you would have? And then what they'll do is they'll send it back before their conference date and it gives me a really good idea of what it is that we're going to be discussing together so that you're not kind of like taking it back and you're not like, whoa, I didn't think this conference was gonna go this way. Um, hopefully they'll just be honest with you up front and they'll kind of tell you what it is that they're wanting to talk about and it makes it easy for you to kind of also prepare and have some of those things that you may think are useful for them so I'm taking my conference form so that I can print some of those out and uh, um, and when I say conference sign up like we had a we had like a conference sign up page so um, I'm gonna take those with me and I did use a sign up genius as well but we're gonna take those so that I can work on filling out some of those forms at home and then I'm just gonna work on conference forms today, I think. I'm not gonna really worry about anything else, to be honest, because I really wanna get that done. Oh, tomorrow is like a cultural heritage day, so we're gonna have a celebration in the afternoon, which is really nice. The parents have kind of planned some really fun activities. We have some really great room moms, which I'm extremely excited about. So that's gonna be really nice to have tomorrow. So our schedule's gonna be a little bit out of whack in tomorrow pretty much all day, so. Um, it's gonna be a fun day though, hopefully. But we're gonna continue kind of with our fairy tales, hopefully do some more reading in our chapter book because the kids are really, really, really enjoying that, which I'm really excited that they're enjoying that so much. So, I am gonna get a couple of my things together so that I can try to get out of here in a decent time. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It is end of the day. I am at home and working on some of my progress reports. Um, we have Cultural Heritage Day today, tomorrow, so it's going to be really exciting and fun for the kids, which is really awesome. Um, I kind of was just telling my husband about the story of me just reading uh, the a dark, a tale dark and grim to my students, and how just excited and they were just like mind blown and. I mean their excitement they honestly could not contain themselves that's how excited they were so I was telling him about the story that I was reading and he thought it was really really cool too so it just brings joy to my heart that everyone is loving on this book it's just such a great book if you have not checked it out definitely go and try and check it out um, so yes it was a very low-key kind of day-to-day -day. didn't really do much they did their writing assessment which I'm really excited about but now that means that I have a lot of grading that I have to do this weekend no big deal it's gonna be fine I am also really, really excited because this weekend I'm going to go and meet with another 
teacher blogger. Um, so yes, her name is Elizabeth Raff. I will leave a link kind of to her Instagram account and to also her um, blog page as well. So I'm super excited. I'm going to go and meet her this weekend on Saturday. Um, and then other than that, I'm really having kind of just a low-key kind of weekend. So tomorrow's Friday. Yay! I'm so excited about that. It's going to be phenomenal for them tomorrow. They're going to enjoy it. They're having their little celebration. Um, I'm excited to see what some of the parents have kind of created for them. So yes, it's going to be great. I'm very, very excited. I have to finish progress reports. If any of you guys know, like y'all know, doing report cards, doing progress reports, like those things can kill you. Like let me tell you, they are just exhausting. So I am determined to get those done this this evening so that I don't have to worry about them tomorrow and I can print them, put them in envelopes, send them home. So I'm not stressing out about them in the morning. So that is my goal. I'm going to get that done this this evening. Um, hopefully maybe watch a movie with it. Watch some YouTube. Not really sure yet. So yes. I, um, my son is already playing with his sensory box, which he absolutely loves. So I was really excited that we made that this afternoon too, when I was with my partner teacher, but it was a pretty like low key kind of day to day. Did get a lot of like just that paperwork kind of stuff done, which was really, really nice. I do need to go through and sort through some other papers that I kind of left on my table, which is a huge, I don't like to do that very often kind of deal, but they're there and I'm going to have to deal with them tomorrow. So say la vie. like little pieces of like baby hairs right here that just don't want to stay down. Oh. Hi, good morning. I hope, oh poo, my battery. Hey guys, it is Friday, woo! Okay, so it's Friday. I'm really, really excited because I have some exciting things that are gonna be happening this weekend and some very relaxing things that are gonna be happening this weekend. So tomorrow I'm gonna to get to meet Elizabeth Raff. I'll leave a link down below to her. She is phenomenal on Instagram. Love some of the things that she's doing in her classroom, so I'm really excited to go and drive and meet her. Um, I just walked in the door, so I have to unpack and then I need to get started. I failed, y'all. So my kid last night just cried and cried and cried like he was not having going to sleep for one and then sleeping in his own bed so uh, me getting my progress reports done did not happen I have probably like eight left which I can do that I mean it's doable I can get that done before my first break or maybe after my first break get them printed have them done for my second break and then be able to pass them out it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be able to do it. No big deal. Today's cultural heritage day. So um, we are having um, a celebration in the afternoon. So parents are coming in. They have planned out all these really fun activities. And uh, look at that hair. That hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> like I made it even worse. Urgh. So they planned some really fun events for the kids and uh, they're gonna come and do that this afternoon. So pretty much the entire afternoon is shot. My day is gonna be a little uh, whacked up. So I think we're getting like 40, 45-ish minutes with each of our classes and then we're introducing book buddies. So our sixth grade friends are gonna come, they're gonna meet their fourth grade friends and then they're also going to read them a story, then we're gonna go outside and just do some like get to know you activities, that kind of thing. So it's gonna be really fun. I'm excited, I hope they're excited. Um, I need to unpack my stuff and I need to finish putting on some makeup so I didn't put on any of this. Something, 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 necessities. We don't do it outside of very well. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a random like beauty thing. Look at that, look at that, look at that, my hair, oh my word. Okay, it's okay, I'm gonna make it work. Have you had, I'm gonna see if you can see it, um, It Cosmetics. This one, I found it in Ulta, and oh my gosh, I love it so much. So let me see, it's, it's dirty. Okay, but look how pretty that is. And then this one, like the contouring one, it's like really not like overly harsh so you don't look like you've had a tan or you are trying to fake a tan or something. Like it's just a very workable shade. I do not put any like face makeup on today other than like eyeshadow and under eye stuff because y'all my under eyes is bad 
but look how pretty that is like it's not harsh and you really if you really want to load it down look and well it looks kind of weird on my camera and I'm one of those people that like I have to contour my nose because my nose is so wide <laughs> or at least I think my nose is so wide so it's really really pretty oh my gosh that hair is gonna drive me crazy all day today see I'm contouring my nose I give y'all the illusion that I have a nice skinny nose and I don't but it's not like overly harsh you know what I mean like it's just not it's nice like it takes a ton in order for it to feel like it's loaded down so I really like it okay so there's that one where's my other brush I thought I got pot with that one I didn't have time to do this at home so I so now I'm gonna do my little does that, do you see the shimmer? Look how pretty. Aww. Apparently I didn't get enough. Look at that. I'm a totally different person now. Just from a little bit of contours. That's about as much makeup as is gonna happen today. Oh my word, look at this hair. Can I just, I'm just gonna own it. I'm just gonna own it and it's just gonna be like this for the rest of the day. I I just, if I did that, would that be, would that gross you guys out? Uh, no? Okay, let's just, let's just try to tuck it. But then my side of my head over here looks flat. Oh no, I think we got it to work. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna finish unpacking. But look, see, look how pretty. Like, can you see how the shimmer right here? It looks nice. Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. It's it cosmetics. I found mine in Ulta. It was really, really, it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. Like that's something that if I even if I don't put like foundation on, I have to at least have that on. Because I feel like I feel a little bit more put together with it. So now that has become like a staple that I just carry in my bag everywhere I go. So that if I have to like freshen up, I freshen up with that. Because it makes me feel like I look a little freshened up. So random beauty moment. Sorry guys. I mean, but teachers got to look good too. You know what I mean? Teachers got to look good. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to unpack get started on the things that I've been trying to finish for stinking ever so I'm gonna talk to you guys okay so since it's cultural heritage day for my whiteboard message I said happy cultural heritage day um, we all celebrate different holidays and we have different traditions it's what makes America so special what do you celebrate with your family so just kind of opening up the conversation of how we are all different but we all will respect and you know, just it's fun learning about how different people celebrate things in different ways and hearing about different tra traditions. So I thought that was a great opener. Um, it's really nothing special. Happy Cultural Heritage Day. I actually did a little lopsided, but that's fine. And then they have their board message. And then I forgot here. <clears throat> I need to have set out some of these things because this is what we're working on now. And we're gonna oh, go through and actually talk about them today. Look at that, I've been looking for those things too. I guess I threw them in here when we were setting up for the, what is it called? My get her done stuff. Yeah. So let me put this out because they've been looking for this. They're like, where are, our, what are our things? They actually do pay attention to this, which I'm actually very proud of. Ah, bathroom and water, morning message, reflex, check your folder, read, okay, so get her done, bathroom, water, morning message, reflex, no, unpack your things, check your folder, that one is kind of bent up, so it's probably going to keep falling out, and then read, actually I need to erase this. 
I should probably have a couple of these. Okay, see, look at that, it keeps falling. I knew it. Here, let me help you out. Veteran Day Hand. So we're doing a little like a wall display for veterans. Um, so they need to do a Veterans Day hand, which that is in their morning message. So hopefully if they read it, they will understand what this is. But yes, now that's done. So now that that's done, I need to go meet with my partner teacher so that we can group our kids for our cultural heritage day. Herit that's like a mouthful. Cultural heritage day celebration for grouping our kids into their different centers. Y'all, I came like probably the sloppiest hot mess ever today. Like I'm, I'm bathed, I'm clean, but you know, like I literally have my t-shirt, I threw on some work pants. <laughs> Like, I look like a sloppy hot mess, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. I'm comfy, right? That's all that matters. And I'm still, like, semi-dressed up minus the I will work for coffee t-shirt, sweater, whatever. All right. It's so pretty outside. Let me show you this. Look at here. Look at this. Like, I'm loving how this sun, like, when I get in, it is dark outside. Look at how pretty. Is it going to show up because it's too busy? Like, look how pretty. It is now end of the day. Party time is officially over. And my room is a hot mess. So, um, like, can I just say that these parents did a phenomenal job with this? Like, phenomenal job. So, we did Cultural Heritage Day. So, we get two parties, apparently. We get a Cultural Heritage Day, and then we get a... Um, what is it called? I can't even think of it now. Earth Day party. So, um, and then these room moms pretty much plan everything for these parties. So, this was our first one. And they did so well. So we had six different stations. We had, one was a piñata, which this mom made all these piñatas. Let me show them to you because she gave me one and I'm so excited so we're gonna go home and like hit a pinata this evening I'm like this is awesome they had pin the tail on the donkey look at that look at how isn't that beautiful like I for a real thought it was like like it was like bought and it's not bought it's like handmade so super excited about that um <clears throat> So yes, uh, she had piñatas, we had piñatas, <laughs> we had uh, pin the tail on the donkey, we had uh, some skull, and somebody left there. So she had one of these, like it was scratch art. Then she had like Legos where they had to create the biggest tower and they measured it. Then she had, um, ooh look, gondola challenge. So she had the gondola. And then they got to um, create their gondolas and figure out how many pennies they were able to get on it. So that was exciting. Um, and those were in my room. And then in my partner's room, they had three others. They had where they could make maracas. They had, what else did they have? They could create little pots. And then they had a snack and a minute to win it challenges. So, I mean, it was fantastic. Fantastic. So super excited about that but my room is a hot mess so like let me show you this part I don't know if you're gonna see it now like do you see my floor do you see it it's awful I honestly have stuff everywhere I got my progress reports done so those got sent home with everyone super excited about that so now we're on to like conference forms that we're going to um, start having our first meeting is next week. So I need to start working on conference forms, which I can do that at home. Hopefully it won't be so bad because I just got done doing a progress report. So there you go. Um, but yes, I'm gonna work on cleaning up some of my mess and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I still need to put my chairs up, so I'll be back. I want to show you guys what my partner teacher did because it was genius so she had rotations and she actually had 
little let me see if I can find some so she had these from I think she said it was the Target dollar spot but they were different colors and we had enough for six different colors so they were in six different groups which was perfect because we had six different games um, well six different like centers that they were gonna go to so then she created this little map here which pretty much has the color of the group the times and where they were going to be going during that time phenomenal right okay get this then it takes it a step further then she says okay if you are in blue group these are the people that are in your group okay and then she assigned a leader in that group and she said okay you're the leader here are the people in your group she gave them that little paper and then she said here's how you're going to be going so every time we ring you are going to take them to here the second time you're going to go there so she had it and they were crossing it off and if they were going through their groups she says okay so since you went first then you can line up first this time and go in order that way then the third person will go first in the next time and line up that way like it was just unbelievable like and i feel like this added a whole nother level of organization and of uh, it just being well planned out which I was blown away so kudos to her if you're doing rotations this was great kudos to her that hair is still been flicking up pretty much all day long which is driving me insane insane okay anyway so moving on it is flipping hot in my classroom and I am absolutely about to go crazy I'm just telling you guys about all the things that are driving me nuts right now so I'm really really sorry about that I'm sure you don't want to listen to it anyways I am wrapping things up trying to get ready to go home because I'm ready to go home I'm gonna take all my papers to grade so those are my writing samples taking those to grade with me this weekend other than that I think I'm pretty much ready to go I do have some things that I have to put away but I'm gonna wait to do that next week so I'm not gonna bother um, because it's hot I don't know about y'all, but once I start to get like really, really hot, I cannot work. Like I'm sweating. So gross. So gross. Okay. I am going to end this vlog here. Um, I hope that you guys are having a really great week weekend I'm not sure when I want to put this one up. So I hope you guys are having a great week weekend. And yes. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, shout it out, share it, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys extremely soon. Bye!